Aspergillus is a fungus that is found in the environment that can cause a number of health problems, ranging from asthma to very serious invasive Aspergillus infection. But before that, the term Aspergillus has really quite an interesting origin. Asperger means to sprinkle, and an Aspergillum is a device used by the Catholic Church to sprinkle holy water. And the shape of an Aspergillum is very similar to the shape of the Aspergillus fungus. So here is an Aspergillum, and here is the fruiting body of Aspergillus that produces the spores. There are many species of Aspergillus. The one that is most frequently associated with disease is Aspergillus fumigatus, and this is found in soil and manure. Other species include Aspergillus clavatus, found in the soil, and contaminated barley dust. Aspergillus flavus, found in corn, peanuts, and grain. Aspergillus parasiticus, found in peanut seedlings and Aspergillus niger, Aspergillus terrius, and Aspergillus nigillans are all found in the soil. Aspergillus gains entry to the body through inhalation of spores, also known as conidia. And the problems that Aspergillus can cause include allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, or ABPA, chronic pulmonary aspergillosis, or CPA, and invasive pulmonary aspergillosis, or IPA, and this is the most severe type of disease caused by aspergillus. Having said that, another very serious disease that is caused as a result of aspergillus is hepatocellular carcinoma, that means liver cancer, from aflatoxins, and aflatoxins are produced by Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus parasiticus as a result of mouldy peanuts, cotton seed, and maize. And if the, for example, peanuts are eaten, then this can result in exposure to aflatoxin and this can result in hepatocellular carcinoma developing. Another route that aflatoxins can gain entry into the body is by ingesting animal products such as meat or milk from animals that have grazed on contaminated feed containing aflatoxins. Allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, or also known as brewer's lung, results from allergy to aspergillus spores of species including Aspergillus clavatus, fumigatus, nigillans, niger, terrius, and flavus. And this results in asthma with mucus plugs in the bronchi that may contain Aspergillus hyphae. Chronic pulmonary aspergillosis is caused by brownish balls of aspergillus fungus that grow in cavities, often TB cavities, but also bronchiectatic cavities, old infarts and abscess cavities. The fungus is saprophytic and slow growing, and the pulmonary aspergillomas may present with hemoptysis, where blood is coughed up. Sometimes the aspergillus forms nodules that are non-invasive. The most severe type of aspergillus infection is invasive pulmonary aspergillosis. And this is an opportunistic infection of lung occurring in immunocompromised and debilitated patients, especially those who are neutropenic. Corticosteroids, hematological malignancies, AIDS, and patients who have received transplants are also at risk of developing invasive pulmonary aspergillosis. So grossly, the foci of aspergillosis form well-defined areas of necrotizing pneumonia. And invasive pulmonary aspergillosis, the hyphae, invade the tissues and may spread to the brain, kidneys, heart valves, 
liver and elsewhere. Here is an example of aspergillus nodules on the pleura. And here is a microscopic appearance of an aspergilloma that is a ball of aspergillus hyphae in a cavity. Here is another example of a lung cavity containing a ball of aspergillus hyphae. And here is a section of lung showing a focus of invasive aspergillus. And this picture shows invasive aspergillus that has reached the brain and been stained with a silver stain for fungi called grocot. And the grocot stains the hyphae and spores black, making them easy to spot. Here is a high power view of aspergillus hyphae. And finally, this is the fruiting body of aspergillus producing the spores at its periphery.